Dog owners are all too familiar with this. Almost all dogs that live to be a certain age will eventually pass away from one of the most common forms of heart disease. But now the University of Minnesota Veterinary School has the first medical team in the upper Midwest performing a game changing proven procedure. Leah Bino reports it's saving lives. Good boy. Good boy. Louie, an eight year old King Charles Cavalier is one lucky dog. He is a good boy. But a couple of years ago, he wasn't so lucky. A routine cardio check found a heart murmur, the first indication of mitral valve disease, a condition of which a valve in the left side of the heart starts to thicken, fold back, and stops pushing blood in the direction it's supposed to, eventually leading to further heart issues and death. I was heartbroken because we'd had a cavalier before who died of mitral valve disease before he was eight. And it's hard to watch because you see this this dog who's been a, a wonderful dog and happy and lively slowly go downhill. And then this is the left ventricle here. Dr. Chris Stouthammer, head of cardiology at the University of Minnesota Veterinary Medical Center, Lewis Small Animal Hospital, points out 90% of dogs that live to be 13 years old will eventually face mitral valve disease. Many pups might live two to five years or more on medications, while others are never diagnosed. Frankie's heart looks amazing. But research has found the ripple effect of enlarged hearts and congenitive heart failure blamed on mitral valve disease is especially common in smaller breeds, including cavaliers, toy poodles, whippets, dash hounds, but all animals are susceptible. In humans, the common fix is open heart surgery. However, for dogs, that option is not only risky, it can cost up to $50,000 and right now isn't offered anywhere in the United States. With veterinarians, uh, it, uh, quality of life is really important to us. And, and even if we're doing a surgical procedure that's going to improve their long-term outcomes, we still want them to have a very short turnaround time. This is a game changer for us. So when a company from China using a medical device similar to this one in humans started marketing it for dogs, Dr. Stoutheimer decided it was time to try. So the V-clamp comes in and it, it will staple uh, both uh, uh, these leaflets of tissue. Louis was his first patient in February to receive the new procedure. Using a catheter through a one inch incision, Dr. Stoutheimer and team placed the life-saving staple on the loose valve and scar tissue has since covered it up for protection. Since Louis, the team at the U has mended the hearts of about a half a dozen dogs in the same way. What's so amazing about this device and this procedure is they, they literally go home the next day, they feel great. And while Dr. Stoutheimer is still an advocate for pet health insurance, negotiations with the medical device company are still underway. Price tag for the V-clamp likely landing between ten dollars to $20,000. Still expensive, but better than the alternative. For many people, for us included, they're another family member, and to prevent um, suffering and to extend the life of your family member, that's, that's really a gift. Louis' owners are grateful to have avoided all the associated costs, thanks to him being the first. After all, they well know having a family member back to normal in good health is priceless. Leah Bino, Fox 9. Oh, we sure do love our dogs. Don't I know, we? and you know the technology is really advancing at a very fast pace. So, you know what may be twenty thousand dollar procedure now down the road may be a little bit more affordable. Pet insurance also a great option. Pet insurance too. is a great option. Louis looks happy. That's yeah, all that matters, that's right. right? Seeing him walk is just great. The hockey